Hey guys, uh, welcome to my tutorial in which I want to show you how you can uh, record your DCS VR content properly without no black borders. Um, if you already have uh, compared uh, like recording normal flat DCS content uh, with uh, DCS VR content, uh, you have seen that it can be a bit problematic to record VR content properly because you have black bars uh, left and right and the aspect ratio of the video is not it's not 16 to 9 but something else um, and I want to show you how you can uh, do it like so so you have high re resolution content to upload to YouTube and yeah and it should look like this year uh, 0940 miles yeah and then it uh, pop up zero uh, one nine uh, twelve miles and just uh, repeat this. Bandit, pop up. Uh, Bandit, 040, 0, 0, 64 miles. As you can see, it's a very crisp image. Uh, it's uh, 16 to 9. It's, uh, it's, uh, it has a res resolution, uh, output resolution of uh, 4K. It's a bit upsampled, up um, but it can be uh, used for YouTube. Very good, has a high bitrate, uh, you can see everything. Yeah, we shut down, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, you can use this. Uh, I want to show you how to do it. Now I would like to show you the, the normal default settings uh, in DCS, which you all know when you try to record DCS in VR. Um, here I got my uh, screen resolution as a resolution set here. Um, my image is on full screen and my VR headset is activated and I'm not mirroring my screen resolution or my headset's resolution. Yeah, and you see like this image, I, I have uh, spaces left and right. Uh, these would have to be cropped out for YouTube. And um, if we just um, jump in the F14 free flight, you can see uh, what it should look like when you play DCS in VR. So now we are in the F14. You see the uh, just normal image as I would record it with, uh, with my program. I will show you later. And now in post-production, uh, I will crop the black borders out. So you see the image you would record when you would record VR with the normal settings. This is what it looks like. It's probably unsharp right now. I see it later. And um, yeah, um, it's not very, very good to, to upload to YouTube. And yeah, that is what it would look like. So also here the external, external view. Let's see it. And we will proceed now to uh, improvements uh, we can make to this image. So first of all, uh, as you have seen in the video, I just showed you that the resolution of the recorded uh, DCS content is too low. Um, this is due to the fact that you have to crop out the left and right borders uh, and also the, the upper and lower borders to have a 16 to 9 image. So um, the key is to increase the monitor's resolution to like 4K or 5K. So the DCS, um, the DCS uh, game window is just a lot bigger. And when you crop it, uh, you still have um, a, a huge amount of pixels. So the resolution stays high. Um, so to increase the monitor's resolution above its native resolution, uh, you either use uh, NVIDIA uh, DSR, Dynamic Super Resolution, or AMD's Virtual Resolution. Uh, I, in, I uh, have an uh, RTX uh, graphics card from NVIDIA, so um, I use uh, DSR. To, um, to see the settings, you just go into uh, first you go into uh, 3D settings and activate DSR right here, DSR factors and you um, you just enable like uh, the, the 
four times uh, resolution setting. So it's in my case, I have a, like like I already said, I have a W a, a QHD monitor. So um, uh, I go and when I and when I enable the four times resolution, I have uh, 5K basically. Um, yeah, I just do that and then I go to uh, resolution and uh, just uh, apply this this 4 uh, this 5K resolution and then um, yeah it will refresh and it, it will be uh, a lot higher resolution and a lot bigger bigger uh, image frame yeah another thing I would recommend is to put the taskbar this one here uh, on the left hand side uh, of, of your monitor uh, because uh, this will <laughs> increase the the size of the of the window uh, even more you can you can set an even higher dcs uh, resolution and also uh, when you play this uh, when you play vr dcs you uh, never have the problem that uh, you click something on the on the lower lower end uh, screen or, or image and you you accidentally click on the taskbar and your, your mouse is out of the window. So I recommend just to put it uh, on the left hand side. So what we see here now is the DCS window with the same settings as before just with the higher screen resolution. Uh, you can see the image is much smaller, takes less place on the on the 5k resolution and uh, what we can do now is just to go into the settings and check again we see WQHD uh, and uh, it's also in full screen and also the v headset is activated as you can see and we're not mirroring the resolution so uh, what what we do now is we increase the um, the size of the DCS window to fit the, the 5k uh, height resolution so so this is now the the new 5K resolution and also the new DCS uh, resolution I just set up. You can see it goes from the whole top of the of the screen resolution to the lower end where the taskbar would be. Um, I'm I have set um, my um, my resolution to 2,520 times 2,800. Um, the uh, it's uh, it's a uh, aspect ratio of 9 to 10 yeah I, I use the oculus quest which uh, which uh, here in this case needs a aspect ratio of 9 to 10 or 0 0.9 yeah uh, what I also did change is the, the full screen uh, tick box I unticked it uh, would recommend it um, also still activated the VR headset and now it's important um, to use the VR uh, mirroring option uh, so um, the the VR headset uses the um, uses basically the the resolution of the monitor screen. Um, I think uh, this improves my, my 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 visual image in the VR headset a lot. So I recommend to tick this box. Uh, yeah, and now we are basically ready to uh, to uh, record um, VR content. I, I just uh, start the same mission uh, as last time in the F14. Now we are in the F14 again. Um, so I'll just show you uh, what it looks like now. Uh, still we are recording the, the whole full screen 5K image um, with a bit higher resolution DCS window. Um, yeah, so this looks a bit more sharp when, when I now go into the uh, post -pro processing um, and I, I crop, uh, I crop the, the image, uh, you will see uh, what it looks like. But we are not uh, finished yet, we can improve it even more in a second. Now I'd like to introduce you to the actual program. Uh, I used to uh, record um, DCS content and game content in uh, general. Uh, many people use it, it's OBS Studio, just Google OBS Studio. And click on the first link, the official download page. Uh, you will find this page and you just download it for Windows. We'll start downloading, just install it and um, I, s I show you how it looks like when you open it. The uh, the actual uh, OBS Studio um, main page or the, the, the window of it. Uh, so you create a new scene, like 
uh, DCS 5K or something. You add your, your sources, like the DCS window, you add uh, your microphone and also the PC audio. And then, um, yeah, like I, I have here my Oculus Quest audio device for headphones and for a microphone. And this is my DCS uh, window. It's currently not opened. I, I will show you in a, in a second uh, how it would look like when I now play uh, DCS. Now you can see the OBS window. When I actually go into the DCS main menu, you see uh, I already cropped it to 16 to 9. What you have to do is go into DC on the DCS window source and you go to filters and you just apply the sharpness filter. I just want to show you right now um, the, what, I, what I mean with sharpness filter. This is with the sharpness filter. This is without the sharpness filter. So you can see it's a lot more blurry and when I apply 12% sharpness it look like, looks like this. Now I go to 0% and I increase it slowly to even more. Now I'm at 12%, now I'm at 25, 35, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So this is a lot over sharpened. I found out that like 12% looks pretty good. So this is what I use. You just can um, uh, move your DCS window so it will uh, fit uh, your monitor, your um, your viewport or something like that. Uh, I will go into the gameplay uh, right now and show you, um, yeah, how you can set it up. So we are again in the in the DCS, uh, the F14's cockpit. So. Um, now this is this is uh, the image you have in, in OBS, and you now just crop it to fill the 16 to 9 uh, view port of your of your video. Just make it even better, uh, bigger, and fill the screen. So you have here some 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 borders. You don't want them, and then you just make it look like this. You maybe can decrease the size a bit and put it down here or something. This is this is my setting I mostly use. And yeah, well, then you just uh, go into into the game and fly and you will see uh, this is pretty sharp. Now, now when you record this, this, this has a sharpness filter applied. It's recorded in, uh, in a pretty good resolution. Uh, I record in um, in uh, WQHD, this is my, my output video, and uh, I will get a file, and this file I'm post-processing, uh, which I can show you in the next step. Uh, just real quick, I want to show you one more thing. You can uh, use FFMPG to convert your video and increase the quality even more. You can apply the smart blur filter you've just seen in the preview uh, in this video. I don't want to pull this video too long, so if you want to know how to use FFMPG, uh, just Google it. Uh, it's pretty easy, actually. You have this M FFMPG file in the same folder as your input video. This is my input video. And you uh, create a batch file, you enter your, uh, your commands, input video, output video, and in the middle here you have your filter you, you want to apply. I use Smart Blur Filter with negative 0 0.5, uh, which actually increases increases the sharpness uh, uh, at 50% uh, or so, and um, it also scales. Um, this command scales the video up from any resolution to uh, to 4K in this case. Yeah, and it will create the out.mp4. I just uh, open it, and it will now convert the video. And boom, it's done. So now we have our video uh, output video here and uh, I will show it in the outro. And here I just want to show you the, the original uh, output uh, video uh, I got from OBS. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's not post-processed, but I can post-process it with uh, FFMPEG and it look like, looks like this. So I scaled it up from uh, WQHD to 4K and apply the smart blur filter uh, can be easily done and uh, it will have a lot sharper image and looks 
ready to upload. So this is now the output video uh, we just uh, converted with FFMPG. This is the final video we can upload to YouTube. It's the maximum quality uh, I can I can create with uh, with VR with my method I just showed you. Um, things you can also do is to increase the the DCS resolution even more. Uh, you will have uh, an even sharper image. But keep in mind uh, when you res when you increase the resolution uh, too high, your graphics card um, might not be able to handle it. So yeah, it tanks uh, a bit of performance, but gives you a lot better uh, output uh, resolution. Uh, you can just compare it to to the beginning of the video where I showed you uh, how it looks like if you don't apply any filters or just use the default uh, VR resolution. It will not look as good as what you can see here. So I hope this video was helpful and you could maybe use any of this. Um, I'm thrilled to see uh, more DCS VR content in the future and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.